Okay, hi there, uh, my fellow NPC Studio friends and Ableton Live users. Um, this is a quick tutorial on how to open the NPC plugin within Live and then uh, have Live change the NPC sequences. So the clips, as you can see here where my pointer is, um, will correspond and change the actual sequences on the NPC. So just follow my mouse around so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, the reason why I did this is because on the NPC software, when you open up plugin instances or copy sequences, uh, there's a bug in the system, in the software programming, in which the MPC continues to load new or instantiates new instances of the plugin. So, six, seven, eight sequences down, you've got eight versions of Trilogy Base or Omnisphere open, and it uh, hogs your resources and eventually uh, causes your system to crash. Now, Akai need to work out this bug. And in my humble opinion, I don't think they should have ever released the software uh, without it being ready to go. And uh, But it is what it is, and so there's a workaround. And the workaround is go ahead and open up the MPC in a program, a DAW, like Ableton. I like Ableton because its clips are kind of like sequences itself, and you can switch and program in your sequence changes. So, without further ado, I have sequence one on the MPC corresponding to clip one inside the software, clip two, sequence two on the MPC, and so forth. The way you set that up is you double click on the clip, follow the mouse down here at the bottom, you'll see where it says notes. Go down to bank, open that, bank one corresponds to bank A on the MPC. Bank 2 corresponds to bank B on the MC, MPC, and so forth. For the sake of simplicity, I just use bank 1 um, because I'm never going to use more than 50 sequences, which brings us to our next point. You go down to program down at the bottom here, and each program corresponds to a sequence in the MPC. So 2 will correspond to sequence 2. 3 will correspond to sequence 3 and so forth. And that way as you move down through your sequences and you record in your scene changes in Ableton Live they will trigger the according corresponding sequences in the MPC. So to show you how that works I've set it up where I've got one sequence, set up sequence one here, and that's going to correspond to clip one. So I'll go ahead and trigger clip one. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I switched that. Shouldn't have done that. Go back to one. Clip one. Down here, it's going to be two, three. Okay. So clip one is currently set to trigger MPC bank A sequence one. So I'm going to launch clip one in the Ableton Live software. Next, I'm going to launch clip two, and that's going to trigger sequence two. And clip three, it's going to be sequence three. And then back to one. Pretty cool. See how that works? And that's that. Simple enough. I haven't gotten any deeper into actually how 
to uh, arrange the tracks so that the tracks could be switched. I'm sure there's a way it could be done. I just don't know yet. Quite frankly, this serves my purposes of just being able to sequence my plugins like my Oberheim and my Trillion and everything else along with my programs in the MPC. And then also it helps if you want to uh, do all your final mix down inside your DAW. Uh, like the MPC, you can route your audio, audio outs from the MPC into different tracks. Those are all different uh, lessons for another time, but I hope that this helps you guys work around the current system flaws in the program of the MPC and at least gets, uh, gets you running with your plugins alongside the MPC. All right, take care.